Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So guys, today is Sunday, it's Sunday fun day. I'm not gonna call, well, I guess I could call it Italian Sunday fun day today because we're having something Italian. Um, this is gonna be um, a vlog today of a lot of stuff, guys. Whatever I can get done, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I might, might, might cut this video in half and do what I'm doing now, because it's 11.45 in the morning. Um, I might cut this in half and do a couple, like an hour of what I'm doing and then maybe cut it in half and go and, and do a, a what's for dinner. I'm gonna see how it goes, see how long it is. I don't want it too long, only because, I want it long, but not too long, because it's, it's difficult to get to, to upload. It takes longer to upload when I have a longer video, which is fine. If, if I have to do it that way, I'll do it that way, but I'd rather, you know, cut it a little bit. Anyway, whatever that, whatever that is, you, you, you guys will be informed of everything. Again, sorry about my live, guys. I know I switched it to Wednesday now. Just a lot of things going on today and just too stressful to do, to my, do my live. And like I said, I want to be in it. But the thing is now is that, like, I just realized that it's that, it's, that, it's that eclipse thing. So I hope everybody's, hope everybody can see it. If not, I guess they'll just look, they'll, they'll do, look at the video afterwards. Anyway, I'm really excited about it to celebrate my 2000. It's a big accomplishment for me, and um, I'm really excited. And um, as you can see by my demeanor and stuff, I feel a lot better. I think that the, the, the raise in the medicine that the doctor gave me is starting to resonate in my brain and help me, and I feel more motivated, and I feel a little bit more happy when I get up so let's just hope it continues just pray for me every day that it continues because I need it to and anyway so excited I want to I want to say a thank you to everybody who donated for Jenny Jenny made her goal she's going to camp Jenny's going to camp Jenny's going to camp Jenny's going to camp thank you everybody who donated and thank you everybody who considered it and even if you couldn't thank you for the warm wishes and the prayers and everything like that i so so appreciate all of you you guys are amazing my youtube community my my family my family stepped up like you would not believe my nephews and my sisters and my cousins and good family friends and just strangers and my youtubers everybody i we love you all and jenny will be on here at one point maybe maybe this week uh, making a video with me thanking everybody and everything she is so happy i am so in awe of all of all of you like the generosity is just flabbergasting it really really is and everybody just came together and helped us and we so so appreciate all of you and all of it and she's gonna have a ball the 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 um the sound of her voice when i told her over the phone she was like dancing in the dark you know like just, she was crazy she was just so happy so thank you again we appreciate all of you thank you thank you thank you so what we're going to do today is i have a lot of stuff that that's going on in my head that i have to do probably not going to get half of it done today i have to um it's probably going to go into the week i have to make um rice for Cooper. I have to make Cooper's chicken. I have to, there's a lot I have to do um, right now, but right now I'm going to make um, brownies. So let's get started with my fudge brownies that I'm going to make. I'm going to make that first because uh, I want to have a little dessert for tonight. Um, and then um, we have other things we got. Then maybe I'll make the rice or I don't know. I'll just go along and do whatever I feel like doing and, and we'll, and you'll come along with me guys. All right. All right, let me get going. Let, let me get everything organized over here for the brownies and then, I'll, and then I'll come back. All right, guys, so I'm just melting the butter now because you have to melt the butter first and it has to cool. So I'm gonna melt it, stick it in the freezer, let it cool five, 10 minutes. And then um, in the meantime, we'll do whatever else we can do. So let's see if it's checked out, it's melted. Another couple of seconds. Um, so I got everything organized. I had to fill my, um, I had to fill my brown sugar and my, um, oh, and I put my bib, my bib. I always call it a bib. Why? I always call it a bib. I put my apron on 
and I chose this one for right now. Maybe later I'll switch it. But this is the one that um, Rhonda from Rhonda's Country Kitchen sent me. Such a sweetheart. Thank you so much, Rhonda. I love it. Rhonda and Russ. Hi, guys. I hope you're doing good. Got to catch up on your videos. I got a couple to look at, but I will. Don't you worry. Uh, love your channel. Love your channel, Rhonda. Anyway, this is my <laughs> apron. So, I got my apron on already for action in the kitchen today. So, yeah, okay, the butter, the butter, the butter, the butter. Woo! It's melted, and it's really hot now. <laughs> so, now it's really got to cool in the freaking fridge, in the freezer. I'm going to stick it in the freezer. Sorry about the glare in here. There's some glare with the sun today, because the sun, the sun is actually out in upstate New York, guys. Do you believe it? Holy crap. I woke up this morning. I was up really, really early. I got I to gotta do stuff while I talk because I have a lot to do today. Um, I was up early this morning because Cooper wouldn't um, stop snoring and he was just hogging the bed like usual. So I got up and I had to go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom and then I went, I went to the couch and slept uh, for, the, for, the last, for, the, for the last three hours that I slept from 6 till 9.30. I slept on the couch. Um, anyway, I noticed the, the, when I passed by the window, the blue sky, I was like, oh my God, it's a blue sky today. It's a little cloudy now, but it's, the sun's still out and it's, it's nice. It's been so crappy, you know, I can't stand it. I need spring, guys. I know we all do. All right, let's put this in the freezer. Let's, let's, let's time. Alexa, set the timer for 10 minutes. I don't want to forget it. It freezed, you know what I mean? Because that's something I would do. Um, all right, let's bring you around. You want to say hi to Koopy Pie? Oh, there he is, guys. Where is he? Where is the puppy? Oh, there he is. Are you excited? He doesn't know it yet. Like he's going to be excited soon. Cooper. Coop, say hi. Yeah, Mom, you're crazy. I know I'm crazy. I'm a crazy dog. Dog lover. Dog lover mother. All right. So let's see what let's see what else we can start now. If I could start the dry ingredients um, first with this situation. All right, I got it on my phone because you know this is a, this is a recipe I use all the time. You would think that I would like write it down or print it out. No, every time I need it, I go look for it. It's it's a tr I gotta get my life organized. I really, really, really want this year to be an organizing year, but I, it just, it's not really happening. Um, okay, so where are the instructions? Sorry guys, you're gonna come along with me. This is how I do things I create with Linda. So uh, if you don't like it, you could fast forward it or you could pause it or whatever, I don't know, whatever you wanna do. All right, so combine melted butter, oil, and sugars together in a medium-sized bowl. Whisk well to combine. Add the eggs and vanilla. Oh, I gotta get the eggs out. Beat until lighter in color. Sift in the flour, cocoa butter, and salt. All right, so I can't do anything until I can put the flour mixture together. But that's it. All right, let 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 ooh. let's put the flour mixture together. So that's together, and then as soon as the butter's cool, then we can do that. So that'll be good. I think I'm going to do things in between, though, because I need to be very, I need to get stuff done today. I'm on a, not that I'm on a time crunch, time crunch but, you know, I, I yeah, I, I need to get stuff done. All right, I'll be right back in two seconds. It'll be for you. All right, people. Um, okay, so what we got to do is let's see how much flour we need. Where is it? Oh, I gotta get the eggs out. Damn it. Where is the flour? Oh, one cup all purpose flour. Let me get the eggs out, guys. Just talk so much yourselves. need right this second but I just want them out I think they have to be room temperature eggs let's see eggs 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 where are the freaking all the eggs all right well, let's not worry about that right now all right so we need where is it one cup 
all-purpose flour. Frankie went to Ikea yesterday, guys, and he got these new friggin' measuring cups for us. Aren't they sweet? No, no hook on them and everything. Really, really nice. So, yeah. So, one cup of flour. I can't believe it's only one cup of flour. I feel like it would be more than that. Usually, you know what it is? I usually um, double this recipe. Should I double the recipe of the brownies, Bill? Bill? What? Should I double the recipe for the brownies? I don't know, do you? I said, should I? Oh, I have no idea. No, I'm, I'm not gonna double it. I'm not gonna double it. All right, let's just do one, one, one thing for me. One at a time, because it shuts me out. All right, one cup of flour. I'm gonna move this back to the mama butter dish, piggy. I'll go move you, piggy piggy. <laughs> I have issues, yes I do. All right, I like to do this because this, I hate these containers, but I have six of them and I need, you know, I use them right now for right now. They're, they're, they're good, but I hate using them when I have to go in there because it's not, I need like something more with a wider mouth, but it is what it is. Where's the freaking bowl? Where's the bowl that I brought? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> oh, Linda, you're so crazy. You're so crazy, you lost your mind. Hey, Linda. Hey, hey, Linda. Woo! Yeah, I am crazy, guys. All right, one. What the heck is that? Dry piece of flour in there. Okay, then. All right, one cup of flour. Oh, look, that fits pretty nice in there. Look at that. I like that. Um, all right. Let's just turn this around. See, it's guaranteed to it's guaranteed to spill. I mean, I know it. That's why I put a paper towel here because I know it. All right, one cup of flour. Can't sift yet because I gotta put the other stuff in it. Um. All right. Put this back over here. Um. Okay. Um. So it says, sift in flour, cocoa powder, and salt. Okay, so how much cocoa powder do I need? I think it's one cup to one cup good quality unsweetened cocoa powder. Well, I got the great value blend, so it is what it is. I hope that's good, good quality. What? All right, guys, one cup of cocoa powder, right? That's what it says, one cup of cocoa powder. One cup of cocoa powder. Um, let me just make sure because we know. I just like to double check, guys, because, you know, I just, I just, you know, I need to do stuff like that. I'm obsessed, like, with that way. All right, there we go. Wow. One cup of cocoa flour. Look, it really takes a lot. I got to get this stuff at Sam's. I got to get the certain stuff that I, I'm going to try to gather some money up in a couple of weeks to go to Sam's and get because I just feel like it's worth it. Like certain seasonings and like stuff like this. You know, you go buy it. You're going to have to buy two of them to, or, you know, I want to buy a big one. So I'm going to, I'm going to go when I when I gather some money up with a couple of whatever, I'm going to um, try to do that. Anyway, yeah. All right, and salt. Just figured I'd tell you that. <laughs> salt, how much freaking salt do we need? Uh, where the heck is the salt? Mm. Oil, no. Brown sugar, no. One tablespoon of vanilla, no. I don't see salt, and it says salt here. One 
one cup of butter, vegetable oil, sugar, brown sugar. Oh, it's four eggs, not three. Jesus Lord. Oh, there it is. Three fourths teaspoon. It's four freaking eggs. Shit. Triple more eggs. We've been eating a lot of eggs. I've been eating a lot of eggs lately. A lot of eggs. All right, so it says three fourths. Alexa, stop. Three fourths teaspoon salt. Okay. I gotta go check that butter. Alexa, check, check the timer for five minutes. Alexa, set the timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Three fourths teaspoon. Mm. All right, so it says sift that, right? Instructions, slightly, oh wait, combine, okay. The sift in flour, cocoa powder, and salt, gently fold the dry ingredients, okay. So let's sift this. So this is all sifted. And then we'll, um, then I thought that butter should be cool enough, hopefully. And I gotta get another egg. Cause it's four eggs, not three eggs. These brownies are so good, guys. They are so good. This recipe. <laughs> Typical of, huh, on my phone, I got cocoa powder. Ah, Linda, Linda, Linda. Linda, Linda, Linda. I need that again. I'm trying to keep organized. All right, guys, let's check the butter. I'll be back in one second. All right, people. Um, I'm going to take these outside for a minute. Um, Bill and Frank are um, bringing some stuff out to the curb for um, the garbage pickup this week. We have bulk stuff, and he is poopy butt. What are you doing? You can stay outside. You stay outside with Daddy. You stay outside, it's okay. Here's the pretty view, guys, it's through the screen, I know. I'm gonna take his the other side. I'll take his the other way. It's kinda, it's nice out, but it's kinda a little chilly. Let's see what the temperature is. The butter is almost cooled. Did I put it back in the freezer? Yeah. Got another couple of minutes. I just wanna make sure it's cool enough. No, you stay outside. You will stay outside. Oh, it's uh, about 55 degrees. A little chilly. It's that, it's, it's 55 degrees, but it's got that chill, you know? Look how pretty, guys. The blue sky. I don't know. I, I don't care. I'll take the clouds. I'll take the cloud with it. Right? The garden's like, come on, lady. Get out here and, and start digging. Get out here. And right behind, like I said, you guys, I'm going to make an extra little garden over there i'm very excited so listen if you guys know i was interested in um you guys know i was talking to you about um i want to i want to grow corn but i don't know a few people have told me oh corn's difficult it takes forever and and not only that but it's big and 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 i don't have a lot of space so i i don't know if i'm going to do corn so i might not do corn this year i really really wanted to but i don't think it's going to be possible so, but anyway, if you guys know about corn or anything, I know a few of you grow it. Let me know what the story is with corn, please. Thank you. How pretty. Little be I'm not Frank the Daffodils, my son. He, he thinks that I don't know that he doesn't like to be on 
camera. I know that, honey. Uh, all right, I gotta get back. I wanna be out here, but I gotta get back in the house because I gotta get this stuff done. There's hubby. Poor, poor guy. Shoulders are killing him. All right, guys, we're going to do this now. The butter's ready. It should be ready. It's ready whether it's ready or not. Because I'm not going to I have to get moving. All right, so it says combine, combine melted butter, oil, and sugars together. Okay. So we need, we need the, um, the one cup of butter, which is exactly what we got. One cup of butter. Hmm. Good thing I got it out of there because it's getting a little waggly. That's the word for it. It's supposed to be melted. Not frozen. <laughs> All right. Um, the sugars. How much sugar do we need? We need uh, one and one fourth cup of white sugar. So one and one fourth cup of white sugar. Come on. Seriously. I don't want to stick this in here because it has cocoa powder on it. So I'm just going to do it like this. I need one cup and I think it said one fourth, right? I got to look and I have to look again because guys, I'm telling you, I forget. I think it's, come on, this gossy thing. Ah, lordy, 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 lordy. I gotta, I gotta put, the, uh, uh, put the oven on. Yeah, one fourth cup. So this is one fourth. One fourth. And that's white sugar. White sugar's done, dudes. Brown sugar. Where's the brown sugar? One cup packed brown sugar. All right. One cup packed brown sugar. Okay, let's do this. You know what that means? It means packed in, guys. Woo! I would have been really mad at myself if I spilled that. Really mad at myself. Okay. I think that's packed right there. Yeah. Not packed. One cup. This is why I love this thing. That's why I love that thing right there. Because you can just pour things in there. I love this. This is the best thing my husband ever freaking bought me. Not even kidding. Um, all right. Okay. So. All right. Uh, pour, okay. Um, combine um, butter, oil, and sugars together in a medium bowl, whisk, all to combine, add the eggs. Okay, so I gotta do the oil. What's the friggin' oil? How much oil do I need, guys? Where 
is it? Where is the freaking oil? Oh, Lord help me. Lord. All right, two tablespoons of oil, guys. And then vanilla. How much vanilla? I don't know. I always put I always put what I want in a vanilla anyway, so I don't know why I even look. Um One tablespoon. All right. What is, um, let me get what the Okay, 350. 350, then in here, no, in here. All right, let's um, give this a little mix. It says, this well combine and then the eggs and vanilla. Oh, all right, I put the vanilla in already, that's right. The eggs go in next, so. Getting everything off the sides there. Eggs with no shells. scrape but I like to scrape because stuff that's on the side there you want it to get in there you know all right all right just want to look over the ingredients and make sure that I have everything in here because I don't want any issues Says to gently, says to gently um, put this in here. I wonder if, uh, so I'm just gonna, and it says not to beat it long because this will make your, if you beat it too long, it will make your brownies cake-like and we don't like that. We like the fudge in our brownies. So 
I'm just gonna give it a little, oh! <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this come down and then I'm just gonna fold it in a uh, couple of folds and then I'm gonna be done. I don't care because I don't want them to be caked. I want them to be nice and flaky. All right. <laughs> I have to laugh at myself, guys, because if I don't laugh, then I really put more, will put myself in the in, in the fall unit. You know what a fall unit is? It's the, the, the mental health department, health, the mental health part of the um, the hospital, and that's where I'll be going. All right, get all this off of here. All this off of here. I like to lick it with my tongue, but I can't. <laughs> all right, let's fold it in. Uh. Mm mm mm. Oh, this kills my arm. My arm is a lot better, guys, if anybody's interested. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do physical therapy because it's really, but it's a lot better. So I don't know if I need it. The doctor told me I do, but I don't know. I don't really want to do that. But maybe the physical therapy will help with this kind of stuff. You know, build it, make it stronger for that I can, because I don't know. I mean, my, my it, I still have a little pain in it, but it's sometimes it's hard to do stuff. So I don't know if that would help it. You know what I mean? All right, that's it. That's it. That's all I'm doing with this. I got to grease the pan. I'm going to wash my hands. I'm gonna grease it with butter. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I always put my, um, first I'm gonna put parchment paper. When I make my brownies, I forget. I always put parchment paper in here because um, it's so easy to lift out with it when you have parchment paper in there. Where is it now? I have the little squares. I don't want the squares. I want the, the sheet. And I will, I'm going to put a little butter on the parchment paper as well, just because I like the flavor of it. So you just do it a little bit bigger so you have a little bit of a lift. This freaking thing, I swear. Oh, I wanted to put some, um, I think I'm going to put some uh, chips in it. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to put the chips in. I think it's enough. It'll be good. All right.
getting it in there. All right, guys, so it's all spread out now, and it's gonna go in the oven. I gotta look at the time. I, I, I gotta check the time. And then um, we're gonna put it in the oven, and then I'm gonna get moving on other stuff, okay? Perfect. All right, people, so I did, I, um, I did something. I did the rice, but my son has a rice cooker that I didn't even realize it, so. I mean, I didn't remember, I knew he had one. Yeah, um, so uh, I, I used the rice cooker, so it's almost done. Very excited about that, because I had to make a lot of, I don't care, I had to make a lot of um, rice, because I made it for Cooper, and I also made it for us. I like to lately make enough rice and have it in the refrigerator, because I love to make on a random night, just make some hibachi rice or some flavored buttered garlic rice. I love it. I really shouldn't be eating rice, but once in a while I can have a little bit. But um, I like to have it already ready so I don't have to worry about it. And um, I, I did it, I, I shopped yesterday, but I didn't, I didn't do a haul. I, I went to Walmart, I was just too stressed because I had to go out and it was just too much. But yesterday I did a, um, a Walmart uh, haul a Walmart shopping and I got a big, big bag of rice because I'm not gonna, I'm trying to be more economical. So I got a big bag of rice, so I, I wanted to make it. So um, Julie actually stopped by for a few minutes, so she helped me do the rice cooker. So that was good. And well, Frankie's here too, because he, he, he knows how to use it. Anyway, so um, yeah, so I did a shopping yesterday. Um, just got the essentials that I needed. Um, Really didn't get any meat. I got well. I got I got chicken thighs. Yeah, I got chicken thighs and chicken um, drumsticks and chicken cutlets. I did get all chicken because that's the only thing I get there. Ch I'll get chicken or pork there. I will not get chopped meat. So I got to get to shop right and just get a thing of chopped meat for the week. And I really didn't do a two week shopping. I did like a week shopping and we got two weeks. So I don't know. It is what it is. I'll figure it out. Anyway, so yeah, so um, I'm boiling right now, guys. I'm boiling Cooper's music. You know this? Music. I'm boiling in Cooper's um, chicken legs for a couple of days. Here I had the water. Oh, the brownies are done, guys. Look at the brownies. Look. These are so freaking amazing. I'm telling you. They are, they're amazing brownies. They're fudgy, they're delicious. Um, I'm boiling, the, putting water up to boil the water for the pasta because I'm gonna be making, um, this is gonna be a what's the, in with the what's for dinner. So what I'm making is tonight I'm making fettuccine with chicken and broccoli, garlic. Garlic fettuccine with a little twist to it, you're gonna see. It's gonna be delicious, so I'm making that. And, um, and I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to make. Oh, and I'm also going to make biscuits. But the biscuits I'm not going to make yet. I'll make them like a little while before we eat. Like a half hour, hour to, before we eat. Blow this flame a little bit. Um, yeah, so we're getting going, doing stuff. I, um... I actually fr uh, um, cooked the string beans and these carrots for Cooper. Um, I'm giving Cooper uh, string beans now. And the other day, too, I gave him a little broccoli. He loved it, guys. He ate it up. Loved it. So I'm incorporating. About really, I'm going to try my best not to give him peas because he doesn't. he's not crazy about them. He's not crazy about peas. But I like to buy the big bags of the... Of the um, of the mixed vegetables, and if I have those in there and I need to give him something, I just give him some of those. He'll eat them, but he's not, it's not his favorite. So um, I bought this this week at Walmart, I bought just carrots, because I noticed that the carrots are 98 cents, the, 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 sweet, um, the sweet potatoes and the squash in the frozen are $2. So I said this week, because I, I needed to just be a little conservative, I bought like three or four bags of carrots and I bought two bags of string beans instead of the squash. And what I did was I bought, um, I had, um, let me tell you something, okay? The potatoes at Walmart, I remember a couple of months ago, I bought a bag there, a five pound bag for like $3. I couldn't find anything under $5. A little bit un, under like 450. 
I was like, this is freaking crazy. So I, I it was stupid because I really just should have bought the bag of potatoes because it pays to do that. But I bought like three regular big tomatoes, potatoes, which probably added up to the same freaking price. I don't know, guys. So I, I did that. And then I said, oh, I'm just going to get one sweet potato for myself. That was stupid because when I got home, I realized I didn't have anything made for Cooper. So I had to use that sweet potato. So I have to run to ShopRite to get water. So I'm going to get some more, more potatoes. Because, you know, potatoes, they're very versatile to have in there to add to a dish, to stretch something. And I, 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 I feel uncomfortable when I don't have butter in my arsenal and I don't have potatoes and pasta and onions in my pantry. So I want to pick up just a couple of things like that. Um, you know, to, to put in my pantry. And I actually don't have any drinks. Uh, I usually get my, my bottles of Snapple at Walmart. They're the best price there, and they had no bottles of Snapple. I was forced. So ShopRite lately has had them on sale, so I'm going to go to ShopRite and see maybe hopefully we'll have some on sale. Otherwise, I'll get a couple, and I'll just be drinking some lemon water for the next couple of weeks because it's just not in the budget. So, yeah. So, anyway. Um, all right, guys. So, um... Yeah, I'll be back in a second. It'll be a second for you, and we'll do some more stuff in the kitchen. All right, guys. So the brownies are done. Hubby wants one before dinner, so we're gonna. She's wanted one for a while. She forgot. I, I was distracted. You know me, guys. A fly flies by, and I get distracted. You never get distracted. All right. So this is the purpose of doing the plastic. I mean the the um paper. So this way you can just pull it out. Okay. What? What do you talk about? What do you talk about? The bullpen socks. Oh, I thought you were talking about something else. All right, a little paper stuck there. And that's why I, uh, usually it doesn't stick to the paper. It's sticking to the paper. And I put butter on it. I don't understand why that happened. But I don't want it to break, but there's be some more there. Ah! There we go. Oh my god, look at that guys. Yummo. I'm in yummo. I'm gonna turn it this way. Let's get the knife. Ooh. Where is a serrated knife now? I used it earlier. That's a bread knife. You'll use that for. Yes, you do. I, I think I know a little bit more than you do when it comes to this stuff. Kind of stuff. I don't know if, you, if you're supposed to use it for this, but I like to use this kind of knife for this. Oh. These are very rich. Guys, look. Look at the fudginess, you see? I'm wondering what I'm going to do now because I, I think I cut it too short. I cut it too small, but. Hmm. I guess, guys, I can do it. Yeah, I'm making smaller ones. Oh my god. If I cut it down here. I think that would be too small, so I'm just gonna cut it like this. How's that into a puddle? Oh my god, these brownies. You gotta show everybody the picture. Look at the dog. Who, everyone in the house or everyone on the video? Yeah, the boy. Well, I got a lot. What we have. Why is it falling apart? He 
usually does because it's very fudgy. Give Dad a bun, because he's been waiting. I want a brownie, a nice big brownie. I'll get my own. You've been I know you're getting your own. He's playing with dogs. Mm -hmm. He's been playing with dogs. Excuse me. There you go, guys, and they're already eating them. That's why I always, I sometimes I make two. That's right, I'm gonna walk. Good. <laughs> I'm turning you around because Frankfurter's here. Guys, listen, you know. It's, it's Sunday fun day. Mmm. We drink. So good. Who wants one? I'm not supposed to be. No, I told him. Oh. Julie stopped by for a little while. She goes, wow, I look crazy. Thank you. <laughs> Gonna get right out of that video. Oh my God, guys. This is so good. You're amazing. Right? Oh, you're amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh my Happy. God. Happy Dan. Watching Yankee game. They're winning, but... Well, they said they were winning. And they won. But it was touch and go for a while there. But we pulled it out. But. Good luck. Good luck. These brownies are so moist. Thank you. They're so moist that they're literally just falling apart. Like, they're so. Oh my God. Brownies, guys, brownies. All right, people. So I'm going to put these boneless chicken thighs in the toaster oven to cook because I'm going to be putting them in the in the pasta, and I don't want them raw. So I'm just going to salt and pepper them. Um, where's my pepper? Where is my pepper? I'm going to put some onion, some garlic, and I'm going to put some um, Italian seasoning. I'm only going to season one side. I'm not turning them over. That's fine. Because there's going to be all kinds of other seasonings in there as well. So I'm not worried about it. Garlic. Pepper. Cooper's chicken is done. Um, and Italian seasoning. Let's put these in the oven. I'll put them on for like 30 minutes. On, put it on bake. Um, at around 375. Okay, so that's gonna be cooking. I'm gonna get moving on other stuff. All right, guys, so I'm getting started on the biscuits, okay? What I'm gonna do is right now I'm making buttermilk because I'm making buttermilk um, homemade um, country buttermilk biscuits. So I don't have any buttermilk. I never buy buttermilk. Don't ever buy buttermilk and spend a lot of money on buttermilk. You can make buttermilk out of any milk. I use 2% milk, one tablespoon of, um, of vinegar or lemon juice to one cup of milk. It sits for five, 10 minutes and you got buttermilk. So don't ever, ever, ever spend money on freaking butter. Oh, I'm gonna tell you something too. Watch this. Wait, I'm going to tell you something. I was in Walmart like three weeks ago. I forgot to tell you guys this. I meant to tell you. We were in, I'm now I'm making a double batch of these um, biscuits because in my house, in my family, you can't make one batch. If you make one batch, you can't. If, if everybody's here, forget about it. Um, so, 
Here's two cups of milk. Let me get my ta my tablespoon. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of um of vinegar in it, white vinegar. Now, I was in Walmart three weeks ago, and this lady was over there, and she's uh, and I was at the the dairy department, like where the cheese, the butter was, and all that. And some lady comes over to a guy that was working there, and she's like, "Where's the where's the buttermilk? I can't find the buttermilk." And he goes, oh, it should be right there. And she goes, oh, okay, she just don't have any. How surprising, Walmart doesn't have something. Um, we don't have any. She's like, oh, okay. So I said, excuse me, excuse me, miss. My husband's standing there and she's like, she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I said, listen, if you don't buy buttermilk, I said, you don't need but to buy buttermilk. I said, what you do is you take a cup of milk, you take a tablespoon, of vinegar or lemon juice and you let it sit on your counter for five to ten minutes and woohoo you have buttermilk she's like no Isn't it just like and i buttermilk? said yes no it's real buttermilk that's so how they like mimic buttermilk that's... but buttermilk is made out of like the way you actually make buttermilk is to take heavy cream and whip it until it becomes butter and then the liquid no, that's left over is buttermilk is... no yes it is well that's not what they say well ask the internet no, i'm right that the, that's why the end of the next yeah day. but you can also make buttermilk well, i don't make it like that by I'm, making I'm... homemade butter that's where buttermilk oh, comes I, from i have no idea anyway i guys feel... tell her that my option is also correct so listen so right, children, no she was like oh my god are you kidding me she had she had a list out with a pen and I said, she go, I go, write it down, write it down. So she wrote it down, <laughs> the whole written thing. She's like, oh, thank you so much. I was, and I felt so good. I was like, yeah, I just told somebody a recipe. You know, it was so funny, guys. YouTube channel. It was so, and you know what? After Billy said to, my husband says to me, shoot, we should have told her to watch your videos. I said, God damn it. I should have told her about my YouTube. Who's thinking of that though at the time? But yeah, I was like, oh, I was so excited to do that. So, Julie, you know those pickles that I made? I had for all, every jar of Oh, did you? Yep. I, I bought, Why? bought more pickles and more stuff, and I'm going to make the normal pickles. Because they, they were disgusting. They had no flavor. They had, I don't know what happened. They One one jar was... I don't was, know why we're trying to change something that's already good. I want, I'm still going to make the other ones, but I wanted to make sour pickles. So, my girlfriend from YouTube gave me a, a sour recipe. Your that a, a full time, um, a full proof that she uses mm -hmm. all the time. Your girlfriend. Yeah, my girlfriend, my YouTube girlfriend. <laughs> That's, I can't have a YouTube girlfriend. Your friend, are you a lesbian? Oh my God, get out of my face. Yeah, I'm a closet. All right, guys. It's a joke. Enough of that. All right, so I need two tables for, oh, oh. It's okay. That's I mean, it would be, you can. I'm not saying I there's was anything was, wrong yeah, with no. lesbians. We're very much. Let's not get into that kind of stuff. <laughs> we delete that clip. <laughs> I don't delete, so <laughs> it is what it is. I just mess with mom yeah. because she always says my girlfriend. And it's very old school to yeah. say, like, you yeah, know what I mean? because I'm 58, and that's what we used that's to That's all that, I right? meant by that. Right. You know, they know that. Anyway, moving on. Um, okay, so. Um, all right, we have the, um, the buttermilk going. The butter's in the freezer. Let's get the, the dry mix going now. Um, because I got to get these in the oven. Ow! Ow! All right. Hi. Um, oh, wait, no, these aren't drop muffins. But I want drop biscuits, not cutting ones, you stupid asses. Ma! What? Are you on video? Yeah, you can say ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need drop biscuits. I don't want, I don't like the, I don't like the, um, the, the cutout ones. And this recipe is not that. Oh, now do you love this? Now I'm going to go off. Do you love this? All right, let's go He's back to. He's enjoying himself so much right now. Let's go back to the, to the, to the, to the recipes. Okay. Easy buttermilk country oh, like biscuits. Drop yeah. biscuits. Here we go. I usually use um, Rachel, Rachel Ray. I usually use um, uh, um, Moss Family TV's recipe, but I don't know where the hell it is. I gotta write, I gotta get it and, and write it down so I have it. 
terrible. He didn't like it. He sat up. I like her mm -hmm. recipe, but I don't know where the heck it is right now. All right, so now I gotta change this whole thing because this is not it. Oh, you don't All right, that's okay, guys, right? That's okay. Uh, the first pitch is a strike. As we start the bottom of the inning. Is that your life? Anthony, two for three today. Oh, that's a good All right. Don't ignore me. All right, there we go. Grok biscuits. That's what I want. This one was three ingredient, but this one I don't think is. All right, let me get the let me get the recipe together, and then I'll come back with you guys, so you're not hanging out all this time. All right, guys, let's get the biscuits going. A lot of distractions going on here today, so I told you, stressful. Um, all right, so I I found the I found the drop um a drop biscuit um recipe. Now, if this recipe is not like the one I usually make, it's not good like like Moss Family TV, then I'll go back to that one. But right now, I don't, I don't have the head to go look for it. It's probably very simple. I can find it immediately, but I'm just doing it this way. All right, so it's two cups of flour, and I'm doubling this recipe. So I will do four cups of flour. I'm gonna do it in the sink, out of the sink, because I don't want to mess up the junior, and that's what's gonna happen. All right, so let's do it. 24 cups of flour, all purple flour. The, pur 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 pur. the other recipe that I was doing was a self rising, which I don't have self rising flour, which I'd have to make self rising flour. I don't want to be doing that either. I'm a bit making buttermilk. So I need four cups of flour. All right, let's put this over here. I know people are going to say, Linda, you're supposed to use the knife. I'm not doing that right now. I don't have time. So that's one. Two. Three. And I need four. So four. So four cups of, of flour. Alright. So now I need it says to it says to mix the um the um dry ingredients together. So one tablespoon sugar. It says optional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put it in. One tablespoon. Where is my tablespoon, Bill? Oh, really? Because they're not there. They're not here, Bill. Did you put them in the silverware drawer? No, the drawer next to the fridge. The other one. Are they? No, they're not here. I mean, they would they would be right on top here if they were here. They'd be right on top, and they're not. So now I'm on a search for my tablespoon. Oh, it's in the sink. <laughs> it's in the sink because I used it. Because I used it. She used it. I'm telling you guys, I need an MRI. I'm not even kidding. Sorry, honey. I'm sorry. Bill. What? I'm sorry. Wow. All right. Listen, it's the way it is. <laughs> it happens all the time. Bill, what'd you do with this? What'd you do with that? Oops. Okay. Um, so it's one tablespoon of sugar, and I'm going to put, I'm not going to do two, full tablespoons. I'm going to do two uh, table, you know, just, just um, shy of the two. All right. Um, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Half a teaspoon. Oh my God, look what I'm doing to myself. I'm all caught up in the wire. I'm a disaster. Um, so a half a teaspoon, wouldn't that be one? A half a teaspoon, if I need a half, a half a teaspoon, I need two, if that's one teaspoon, right? Yeah, like that. <laughs> 
I need an MRI. I need an MRI. You need more than that. Guys, I'm scared. I have to go for that those those tests. I'm not doing that. My kids are driving me crazy. My husband's driving me crazy. All right. Uh, hey, don't be cursing. One okay. One tablespoon of baking powder. So I need two. I have to make sure I double all this stuff, guys. Uh, where's the baking powder? Oh my God, this cabinet here, it's a mess. All right, so baking, right, baking powder, make sure it's not baking soda. One tablespoon, so I need two tablespoons of baking powder. That seems like a lot, doesn't it? One tablespoon baking powder. This is baking powder. One. So I need two. Alright. Okay, so it says. Whisk the dry ingredients together. Okay. I gotta show you what my son got. I, I think I showed you guys, didn't I? I showed you all the stuff he got from Ikea. I don't know if I showed you all of it, but I'll show you later. Oh, come on, people. Come on, people. Okay, so let's mix this together. I put the butter in the freezer like 15 minutes ago, so the butter is gonna be fine, perfect. Oh shit, I didn't put enough butter, did I? Have, what's the butter? Um, a half a cup of cold butter. Oh, so that's perfect. That's what I have in there. Okay. And um, I only need two-thirds cup of buttermilk. So I'm going to have more buttermilk. So what I'll do is I'll put this butter, the rest of the buttermilk in a container and just save it so I have it. If I Because I'm going to be baking some stuff for the next couple of days. So I'll probably, maybe I'll need it. All right. Anyway. Um, okay. All right. Uh, Where's the dry ingredients together? And then in a large bowl, use a pastry cutter to cut the cold butter into the flour. You don't have a pastry cutter. Let's get the, I don't use, I don't use a pastry. I you use my, follow the instructions. I use my hands. So you're not following instructions. No, I don't need to follow If you don't follow the instructions, it's not going to come out right. A bit. So Mom's not doing the biscuits the right way. <laughs> so a half a stick of... I don't want a biscuit, though. Okay, I don't have one. I make them like this all the time, so it's your, your loss. A half a cup of cold butter. So it says on here, half a cup is one is one stick. Okay. All right. So um, what, wait a minute now. Perfect. Yeah, I don't have a pastry cutter. I usually use my hands, or I use um, you know, I'll wash my hands beforehand. I usually use uh, my scissor. Frank, a zip it. But what I'll do is I'm going to cut them in pieces first because, you know, and you don't want to handle the um, the butter too long. So you you got to really try not to touch it as much as possible, especially if you're going to be using your hands to put it in. So I'm just going to cut this in pieces. If guys, I don't know if you guys noticed this. Create with Linda. This is a channel where you're going to hear a lot of burping. People burp because they don't realize that I'm on video. They're in the other room, and you hear you hear burping. I grew up with Jen. I grew up with Jen. You hear burping constantly, so I think you guys know that. So I'm just going to cut them in some pieces. Now I got my son-in-law behind me acting like a moron, you know, because he thinks wow. he thinks he's funny. I should really turn the um, the camera around on him and shock him. It's weird to say it's weird to say son-in-law, guys. All right, so this is half a stick. So let's put this in. Even though he's been a son, Julie, you've been married almost like what six, seven months now. Um, what? Yeah. Remember. November, wow. December, January, February, March, April, April. Six months, Joel. Oh my uh, God. It was the end of October. Yeah, you're right. That went fast. I wish we 
you were back there. Why? It was so much fun. It was so beautiful. Guys, for, for my new viewers, you probably, uh, if you, you know, watch my old videos, you probably see some, there's videos of Julie's wedding. I got to put some more pictures up. Oh, God, her wedding was beautiful. She got married October. What was that? October 29th, right? Oh, dude, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. All right. I'm just making it as small as possible because I have to, I don't want to, and I don't want to touch it with my hands too much because I'm going to be touching it to cut it. I got to get, I got to invest in a pastry cutter. I don't, that's one thing I never had, I don't think. I never got one of those. And that's one thing I don't have in my back, in my back arsenal. I got to get one of those. All right. So then it says, uh, cut the cold, but don't go too crazy here. You want to see the small peak, right? Okay, let me, let me wash my hands. Oh! Oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. What'd you do? Oh, Linda, no. Oh God, come on, what'd I do? Oh no. You know what I did? I hit, I put the water on and the flour was in there. That's all right, I'll just take out what's wet. <laughs> I am a disaster. Why am I like that? Why? Why? I ruined like like a cup of flour. My my friggin' arm's killing me all of a sudden. It's killing me. All right, let's break this up. Okay. So I'm just gonna break this up. Ooh, these are really difficult. Huh? What you gotta do is you gotta break them up in the. I don't even know if I could do this. I'm gonna have to get my scissor. Because the butter is really, really cold, like on the verge of being frozen, which is perfect to this. So I just gotta break up the butter. Oh shit! Wait a minute. A half a cup of butter, that means I need, I need two, four sticks. <gasps> See, I almost messed it up, guys. I literally almost messed it up. A half a cup is one stick, and I need, I need one, a half a cup. Is that right? What? Just wait a second. What did you do? All right, so I'm breaking it up, guys. Guys, I'm sorry there's a little havoc going on here. I just, when, when I get crazy and I have to have a, things done and stuff, I just get confused and I get stressed and I just do things that I'm, I'm you know, I confuse myself. It's terrible. So anyway, no, I, I, I put the right amount of butter in. I thought I didn't, but I did. So, all right, so this is done. All right, so now what I have to do is I don't want to touch it too much more because I don't want the freaking butter to get all freaking warm. It's already, you know, warm from me touching it. All right, so that's good. So then it says, all right, uh, use a pastry cutter, okay, okay, okay. You want to see, okay. Um, oh, I could have grated the butter in. Yeah, I did that once before. All right, um, add the buttermilk, okay. And, and, and egg, all right, so I gotta do, um, so it says two thirds of buttermilk. Um, um, so I gotta do two of these. No, I gotta do four of these. One, two, three, and four. Jesus, Linda. Right. Okay. And the eggs. Let me get two eggs. Julie, did you eat all your, all your, um, I think I had one or two left. I ate all, mostly all of them. Jenny. I made a salad. 
Did you? And I have six left make egg salad for this week. Yeah. Because they're so good, right? Uh, yeah, they're still good. Um, yeah, Jenny didn't take any home, so I, I used them all for my for my eggs that I eat. It was perfect. All right. All right, it says to put the two eggs in, and then and then to mix it slightly. And don't do it too much because you don't wanna, you wanna be able to, it's gonna be sticky, they said. They, you're gonna be able, they, they want you to be able to feel the, um, the butter still. The butter still in little pieces. So just mix it. Slightly. Mm, love the way it smells, guys. Love it. But don't keep working it. You should be able to see the better pieces in the dough. Scoop the biscuit dough using a large trigger scoop, ice cream scoop, or use... Um, come on, or two, or use two spoons or scoop out the dough and place it on the prepared cookie baking sheet. So, how many biscuits does it make? So it doesn't say. I remember when I watched Moss Family TV, Fallon from Moss Family TV. Um, she would mix it just till it was mixed it was still you know that's the whole thing with biscuits and i'm no expert on biscuits but this is like the fifth or sixth time i've made them um and i do know that i do know that that you mix them just until they're ready they're 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 combined and then you and then you um put them into the on the pan so yeah so let me just mix it a couple more seconds and then um do that and then i'll come back all right, guys, I'm really sorry. I, it stressed me out a little bit because the dough was being difficult. So um, I just I just scooped them out in here. And they're, um, I just put them in the oven. This recipe, I'm not crazy about this recipe. I won't use this recipe again. Uh, I'm going to go back to the Moss Family TV. Anyway, they're in the oven. They got 15 minutes to cook. And I'm going to wash my hands and assemble the pasta dish because that just has to really heat up so we'll be eating in about a half hour so yeah i'll be back all right guys this is how i make my um my, this is how i'm making it tonight i i just i'm throwing things together for the alfredo sauce i used i'm using heavy cream i'm using sour cream butter I'm going to do melted butter, seasonings, and I put a little bit of crushed tomatoes in it because I wanted to um, add a little something to it, so that's what I did. Uh, I got to cut the chicken up too because the chicken thighs are done over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the oven for like... I'm going to put this in the oven. I'm not going to put melted butter. I'm just going to put the butter in here. I'm going to put all kinds of seasoning in this. Okay. Give it a good mix. So all that sour cream is melted, you know, melted in there. You guys can see, right? All right. Let's get... I'm going to put this in the oven first, and then I'll put the pasta in it. How long? What time is it? It's 5.30. Another 15, 20 minutes. What is that? Oh, no, I was asking you what that oh, mixture was. This is the head of cheese, oh. but I added a little red it's 5.30 already? The biscuits took freaking forever. It's freaking biscuits up. Salt. 
I can't believe you found a six pack of Snapple Apple. And you were trying to steal mine. I wasn't stealing you. I only had two for myself. No, I thought you bought four for us. No, all I bought was, all I found was four. And I, I thought you had never tried it. So I was going to give you guys each one out of the kindness of my heart. I thought that I, I asked you when you said, when you remember, I, I asked you when you if you found it to get me some. That's what I asked you. Yeah, for you to try because you had never tried it. No, I wanted you to get me some. I knew you would like it. Oh, but you didn't understand that. That's all right. It's fine. Shut. Up. I right, painted my nails. I'm just gonna. Oh, okay. See, you have long enough nails to do that. Yeah, I just told, took my acrylics off. That's why they're this long. And I'm trying to keep them this long, yeah, so. that's what happened. Gotta paint them. All right, so I'm gonna put grated yeah, cheese in it. Can you go in the back, one of you, and get me the grated cheese? It's back there, it's on the um, shelf. Mm -hmm. so not three of them. Yeah, the other kids are just... They're out of water already. I filled this up when they get one brewery guy. Oh, yeah, they, you know how they drink the water. Here. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to give it a little taste. I'm just going to put all the pasta in here and put it in there, cover it. We're going to be eaten by six guys. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to say. I can only do what I can do. Who said anything? No, I'm just saying. I, I said 5.30. It's... I'm upset about it. 5.30. I'm very upset about it. I'm very... Yeah, I'm super mad right now. Come on. I found a new flavor of Gatorade. You want to try? All right, guys. I'm sorry. I just got crazy over here. So I'm just mixing everything together. I mixed all the noodles in with the sauce that you saw me make. Um, I put uh, some fresh garlic in here. Um, and I put uh, my hands are clean, so don't, don't panic. Um, um, oh, the only thing I didn't put that I have to put in here, that Julie's going to help me with this because I can't touch anything. I can't touch it. Can you please... Take that knife right there and just cut me like three or four pieces of butter and stick it in. Oh, you want it? Is it dirty? My, no, my nails are oh. still kind of wet, so I'm just trying to be careful because these aren't gels. So just, you're, you're not going to see them. I'm oh, sorry, everyone. I put butter in there. You didn't break it up, though. You needed me to break it? Did you say that? Yeah, I didn't say that. That was my fault. All right, so this is going to go in the oven. Let's go back. We don't want them all together, but uh, I like it. I think it's got enough sauce in it. It's not going to be dry. My arm is killing me. Did you go to the doctor yet for it? Yeah, you did, right? What are they doing for it? I can't tell you. But why is it still hurting? Because it's not going to be healed overnight. Do you need any more? Taking medicine? Yeah, a couple of pieces more. Uh, I'm taking medicine. Yeah, that just break that one up. And then um, I had, they want me to do physical therapy. Well, it's not going to get better if you don't do the things they well, tell you to do. It's better with the medicine because what it's doing is it's taking the swelling down, which is, is making the pain better. But the, 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 the physical therapy is for your whole arms and where they see anything. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a great YouTuber. But um, this is all I've been doing. All right, that's good. No, I have one more piece. You're going to get the last piece. Yeah, the physical therapy is more for strengthening my arm because, you know, because I hurt it so bad, I can't, it's a lot of, a lot of stuff I can't do with it. Yeah. I don't even have tinfoil to wrap to put on it because I just realized. Julie, can you put that in the oven for me? What do you not understand about my nails are wet? What do you not understand that you want to fucking eat? Oh, excuse my... <laughs> Brody. All right, people, here is the food. I doctored it up with a little more sour cream and a little half and half and just mixed it up and put it in for another 10 minutes, and now it's done. Here are the biscuits. Julie said they're amazing. They taste just like the other ones, but I don't like the way this 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 um, this recipe came together. I just didn't, I really am not crazy about it, so I'm going to go back to the Moss family. I just have to get it, write it in my books. There's a lot of stuff I gotta do, guys, and we'll we'll talk about that another day, not today. But anyway, yes. So I'm gonna get my plate and I'll be back with you guys. All right, guys. So here is my plate. 
I'm ready to eat. I'm tired, but it looks yummy, and I'll be back. Hopefully, I will be back with my quote. If I don't come back, you'll see it on the screen, guys. If I don't, love yous, and have a good night. But hopefully, I'll see yous. Bye.